In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a basic squeeze page with WP Opt-ins. From the Pages menu, select Add New Page. Then on the right-hand side, make sure you select the WP Opt-ins template. Next, enter the text that you want to appear above the opt-in form into the main editor. So we're going to go grab some text that I already have here and add it to the editor. So this will be my headline. This will be my call to action. Enter your email below. And I'll go ahead and add name and email. We can collect that as well. Okay, next we will format the headline. And you can select from a font family. These are the basic fonts, font size, and if you want to, you can use one of the built-in styles that actually converts the text into an image for a crisper look. Okay, so we'll go with uh, to home on this one. And we'll make that bold. And we can make this uh, Arial with the regular text. And let's give this a t uh, page title. And we'll just call it free checklist. All right, the next step is to go down to the page settings. And we're going to make this an opt-in form only that's centered in the middle of the page for this example. And let's upload an image or choose one from the media library. And we'll go with this one. Insert into post. And then we'll update the page settings. Next, we need an opt-in form, so we're going to jump over to AWeber and grab some code. Now, WP Opt-ins works with any autoresponder, so it doesn't matter if you're with AWeber, Get Response, Constant Contact, or any other. You just go and create a web form. In this case, it's under Sign Up Forms, and you go to Design, pick a basic design with name, email, or whatever you want to collect, and then save your form. And then you want to go into settings and find your thank you page URL. And we're going to just add instant member site conversion page. Now this is wherever your, your subscribers go after they opt in on your squeeze page. Okay, So it could be a redirect page to an affiliate link. It could be a thank you page. It could be a please confirm your subscription page. Or it could go straight to a download page. Okay, so either way, um, this is where they go if they're not subscribed, and this is where they go if they are subscribed. So in this case, we're just going to leave them both the same. Now, this will add some hidden fields to your web form that you can change later if you want to. Um, but if you don't add these here, then it just goes to a generic um, page that's served up by a Weber that says, thank you, go confirm your subscription. So I always like to add these redirects in there um, so I can control the uh, process. All right, so let's go to step three. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. What you want to do is install your form yourself and then go to the raw HTML version. And it doesn't always work. Should get rid of these styles, which you don't really need. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit Control A, Control C, and copy all this into the opt-in form box. Okay, so right here it says opt-in form. Paste the full HTML code and not the JavaScript snippet. See, this is what you don't want here. You want the full HTML code. So we can parse all these fields and recreate the form. Okay, so let's go back here. And so there's a lot of unnecessary crap in here that we don't need, but we'll just leave it there. Um, what I was going to show you is the redirect here. And you can drag this out. OK, 
Hey, right over here it says hidden name equals redirect, value equals, and this is the page that you want it to go to. And make sure that the quotes stay intact and then the page is between the quotes so you can change this if you want to. And this is meta redirect on list. That's where they go if they're already on your list. This is the message that you start them on. The meta message value equals one. That's so it's going to send out the immediate email, and then it'll send the first email after they confirm. And then the required that's name and email. So if they don't add name and email, then it prompts them to do so. WP Optins already has built-in error checking, so you don't have to really worry about that. Okay, once you have your opt-in form in place, then you can add a privacy statement and that will, re that will appear below the opt-in form. And then your opt-in box, you have a choice of blue, black, gold, green, red. Um, you can round the corners or make them square. You can center it, put it left or right, and this is mostly applicable to the um, this style of opt-in form. And we'll just leave it at 280 picks and we'll go with 75 on the opacity. That makes it slightly transparent so you can see through it. And let's just go ahead and update that. And oh, we forgot the, this is something new in 3.0. You can actually add your own text for the button and it creates a button for you. All right, so let's take a look at that. And there's our squeeze page. Now, there's a few things we can do here. We can make it uh, a little bit wider. So this is on like three lines instead of four. Um, we can wrap this text differently. Uh, if we make it a little wider too, this will wrap better. It just looks better. And that's easy to do. We'll just go to page settings, to the opt-in form. And we'll make this, let's say, 380. Refresh that page. It's a little better. Let's see. And let's go with like 350. Perfect. And that's how you create a squeeze page with WP Optins.